Hey guys, so today I have a drugstore makeup haul for you and actually I haven't bought makeup in over a month so I was really excited to try out a few new things from the drugstore. It's not a crazy huge haul but I wanted to try out some of the new things that came out um, and yeah, I'm really excited. I was like going crazy because I put myself on a makeup no buy so that is one reason you guys have not seen a lot of hauls from me which is a good thing for my wallet but a bad thing uh, for my makeup addiction. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna start off with lip products because I got a few lip products that I wanted to try out. They're all actually coral colors because um, I'm getting more into the like bright orangey colors and that's what I have the least of. So the first thing I got is this CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. And basically what it is, it's like one of those jumbo pencils that twist up um, and it's kind of like a lipstick lip gloss combo. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's in the color 235 Coral Twist, and I love these. They feel very nice on your lips. They're very soft feeling, um, and they're not super glossy. I actually put a gloss over it. It's more of like a soft matte finish, but your lips feel very moisturized and soft, and I really like these. Um, I love the Revlon Balm Stains. Um, but those feel a little more waxy and they're more of a stain. They actually stain your lips and they're a lot glossier. Um, but I really like these as well. I meant to get the one in Watermelon Twist, which is more the pink one. But I'm really happy with this coral one. And it's just a really nice, like, orangey, reddish coral. And I am very happy with this. This is going to be a favorite. So I definitely want to try out more of these. Um, then the next thing I got, which is another coral lip product, um, this is the Revlon Lip Butter in the color Juicy Papaya. This is one of the new lip butters. It's just a really nice, like, sheer coral color, and I'm really excited to wear this one. I just want, like, a more toned-down coral lip um, instead of something so bright like this, and I have worn this a little bit. Um, it's just very, very sheer, but it's really pretty, and yeah, so I got that one. I want, like, a nice, subtle coral color. And then I got one of the Milani new color statement lipsticks, and I haven't tried these out. I've heard a ton of great things about them. I got this in the color Fruit Punch, and this color is so, so pretty. It reminds me of Max Chatterbox. It's just a really nice, like, corally pink. This is a lot more pink than the other colors that I picked up, um, but it still has a little bit of orange in it, and I really like this color. I'm so excited to wear this. It's kind of like an everyday bright color just to add a nice pop of color to my face. Okay, moving on to the face products. The first thing that I got is one of the Milani Baked Blushes. This is in the color Luminoso, and I've heard so much about these, and I'm wearing it today to try it out, and I absolutely love it. It's a lot like Benefit's Coralista, um, so if you wanted to try that, this is a lot cheaper version. It's very similar. It just gives your cheeks a really nice, like, peachy, glowy look, and it has a nice, like, sheen to it. Um, it doesn't show up glittery on your face, but it just gives you a really pretty glow. And I love these kind of like light peachy corals because they're very easy to pull off. Um, it's not like you're putting orange on your cheeks or anything. So I would definitely recommend this and I definitely want to try out the pink one. Um, I think it's in the color Living Doll. I'm not sure. Um, so I really want to try that one out. But this is so, so pretty and I'm so excited to wear this. Okay, then I wanted to try out the new Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream, and I got it in the color Light Medium. I've tried it once already. Um, it's a little too dark for me, but since it is so sheer, it's a BB cream, it kind of works, and going into summer, I think this color will match me perfectly. Um, it has SPF 30, which I thought was great for a BB cream, um, so it's really going to give you a good amount of sun protection. And uh, when I tried it, it was very sheer. It had a really nice consistency, though. Um, the only thing is it didn't last that great on me. I did get a little bit oily throughout the day, but um, I will keep it and I will use it up. I think it's a good BB cream. It's not a great BB cream, but I got this to try out. Okay, next I got something that I've really been wanting to try. It's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. And this is one of the True Match concealers that come in the jumbo uh, stick form. So you just twist it up like that. And it's nice and pointy. And I got this really dark color. It's in the color N678. So it's the darkest color. And what I actually got this for is contouring. And I've seen a few people use these concealers for contouring and highlighting because uh, they're just really convenient. So I used it once um, yesterday when I was getting ready so I could tell you guys about it. I basically just drew it, the lines, like around my face like I was contouring. 
Um, and then I blended it out with my finger, or you could use a brush, and I loved how it worked. It's just a really nice way of doing like a cream contour like you would do with concealer or foundation, kind of like that Kim Kardashian kind of contouring technique, and this makes it really easy, and it's pretty cheap. I think it was like $7, so I would definitely recommend this. Um, the only thing is they don't come in a ton of colors, but if you are fair to medium, you could use the dark one for contouring, and that's what I got it for. So um, I can do a video on that if you guys want to see, um, or I'll show you in an upcoming video, but it makes it really easy, and I like it so far. Okay, next I got the CoverGirl Plump Crusher Mascara, and I've heard so much about this. This is what the packaging looks like. I just opened it so I could try it out yesterday, and I absolutely hated it. I am sorry, guys. I have heard so many people rave about this. It comes with a kind of spoon brush like this, um, and I have heard that people that still have hard to curl lashes like I do say this holds a curl because it doesn't come in waterproof. This is not waterproof, but I've heard that it holds the curl well, and it did not at all. My eyelashes fell straight down. It did volumize and separate really nicely without clumping, so if your eyelashes do hold a curl well, this would probably work great for you. It just didn't work for me. My eyelashes like drop straight down after one coat so that was a fail but it did separate and it did clump so it did completely what it claimed to do and I thought my eyelashes looked really nice in that aspect but they weren't curled at all so if you have that trouble this will not work for you but if you have eyelashes that hold a curl I definitely go ahead and recommend this it's a pretty good mascara okay the last makeup product I got is the wet n wild Fergie eye primer it's called the Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer, and I wanted to try this out because uh, I'm running kind of low on my other primers, and I really wanted to try a drugstore eye primer. I've tried the e.l.f. one before, and it was pretty good. It was okay, um, but I heard this one is really nice, so I will let you guys know about this, and I am really excited to try this out. I haven't had a chance to try this out yet, um, but I will definitely let you guys know, and I think this was like $3, so if this works out, this will definitely be a favorite because uh, it is so cheap, so... I will let you guys know how this works out. Okay, then I got two Essie nail polishes from the Spring Collection, and I love these. Uh, the first one is the one that I'm actually wearing right now. It's the color Avenue Maintain, and it's just a really nice, like, lighter cobalt blue, and I think it is so, so pretty. Um, this is what it looks like with one coat. It's very opaque. The formula is absolutely amazing on this. I just want to throw that out there. Um, it's very, it's, it goes on thickly but not goopy, so I love that. You really only need one coat. Uh, you could do two, but this is what it looks like with one coat, so this is an awesome formula. And the next one that I got is Madison Avhue, um, and this is more of like a magenta purpley pink. Um, and I wore this the other day, and it looks like there's no shimmer in it, but if you look really closely, there is a little bit of sparkle that shows up on your nails, so I don't love that about it, uh, but it is really subtle, and the color is really, really pretty. So. I really like these, and I definitely want to get more of the Essie spring colors or the summer colors. I'm not sure. I wanted to get the um, turquoise one the, and the green one. Uh, what's it called? Essie first timer. I really want that one, but these are really pretty, and yeah, I would definitely really recommend the blue one. Okay, guys, so that is it for this quick little drugstore haul. I know it was on a ton of stuff, uh, but I am really excited to try this stuff out for you guys, and if you guys did a drugstore haul recently, please leave it as a video response down below or tell me what drugstore products you guys are loving so I can try them out. Um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Sorry I haven't posted a video in over a week. I've just been super busy, uh, but now I'm out of school, so hopefully you guys will have some videos coming your way very soon. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I will leave all my links in the down bar. But I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.